We can see right away that this is an odds and evens problem. First, let's figure out what the question is asking. Is m minus 1 even? Which is the same as figuring out is m odd? And this simplifies the question a little bit and holds true because if m is odd, then an odd minus an odd will always be even. And this will help us simplify going through statement one and statement two and helping us to figure out the correct answer choice. So then we wanna see what information we can get from each piece of data given and eliminate answer choices based on that. Remember, on data sufficiency questions, we're making judgments about two pieces of data and our one answer choice. So the elimination process is unique to this question type, and it's best to separate the statements before we make any conclusions. So first we'll start with statement one. Based on the rules of even and odd numbers, if m plus three is even, m is odd. And an example would be, if m is three plus three, this would equal six, which is even, and this always holds true, which makes it sufficient to answer the question. Therefore, choices B, C, and E all say that number one is not sufficient, so we can eliminate them, and we're down to A or D. Now, we'll choose, before, we'll choose between A and D based on the second piece of data. Again, the rules of evens and odds tell us that if M minus two is odd, M is odd. And an example would be, if M is three minus two, this equals one, which is odd. This means that we could say that M is indeed odd based only on this piece of information, which makes it sufficient to answer the question. This means that choice A is incorrect and choice D is our answer.